Day 13 is rest. Now, obviously, given my own background, have, having some ability to rest, even if it's difficult for me, is, par- is paramount to prevent um, burnout. This is why I, um, I've always been iffy about doing, we- doing weeklies if you have a much larger group. I mean, I'm I do weeklies just out of ha- just out of habit since I do weekly shows on the other stuff, anyways. But I'd say for most people, doing it bi-weekly is probably for the best, so they have a chance to rest their heads. Because a lot of people don't take into account how mentally draining um, GMing or playing can be, simply because you you have got to be on the ball to such a degree. And it's not to say that it's um, back-breaking work or anything like that. I enjoy it. But you do have to know your limits. Now, the other side of rest that I do want to talk about is the idea of using the rest period in um, role-playing games. A lot of time, rests or downtimes is just treated like a montage or just, or just completely skipped over. I see this kind of thing as a lost opportunity. Since you do have the moment to have um, character pieces um, within players and within GMs, or within NPCs, I should say. And there's the option to go into that or just go into what um, that given character does on their off time when they're not raiding dungeons or raiding villages. Some, some people might ply their, tr- might ply their, their trade in one form or another. This is also the reason why I'm a big fan of the work that Crafty Games does, because they give entire systems worth of intention to downtime events. Because it's not enough to just have your character be, hey, I'm an adventurer, I just go from place to place raiding dungeons. Um, There's ways to get past the whole murder hobo thing. It's just that a lot of people are too high up on certain traditions to actually even try it. Which is unfortunate. So I guess I could say, try it sometime. You might like it.